Follow now on Twitter at DJ B Street. DJ B Street. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Q&A interview with DJ B Street all the way down from Cali. I got my man, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick, how you doing, man? What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on? For those that don't know you, can you quickly explain to us who Kendrick Lamar is and what you're about? Um, I'm from Compton, California. I represent this label called Top Dog Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, about the revival of just music, period. Um, that's us. That's my movement. That's my team. The Black Hippie. Self empowerment, self dignity, hard honor, respect, high power. That's what's up. Actually, I want to talk about one of the biggest cosigns that you got that had a lot of eyes watching you and a lot of ears listening. And we all know that's the cosign by the one and only Dr. Dre. Right. You know, how is it, how did you get his attention and how is it working with Dre? Um, it really just came about me just putting in the grind in LA. I've been doing music for a few years, more than a few years, probably almost a decade by now. Mm. Um, still young and um, start selling our shows in LA, New York. It caught wind. He looked at a YouTube video, Ignorance is Bliss. Mm -hmm. Started moving from there, man. It's been an incredible journey so far, you know. Uh, it's been a, a lot of motivation, you know, involved just seeing him behind the boards while I'm in the booth. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's definitely a perfectionist, you know. Oh, yeah, no. Dre definitely is. And hopefully, he play a sold out show tonight in Philly, man. Right. You know, I'll be there. Uh, I want to talk about the game who recently announced about you dethroning him as the king of the uh, the West Side. Mm -hmm. I mean, how is that? How does that make you feel here in the big homie game, yeah. kind of stepping down? Right, man. It's, it's a great respect. You know, mm -hmm. um, we always looked up to game in the city. Just being a young boy in high school, he had his album out. Yeah, and man. This, this this new cat repping the city, and he had it down well. And um. For him to do that just shows how much respect he has for my music, you know, me as a person. You know, he didn't have to do that. That's what's up. And how do you think your your relationship is now? Is it a lot stronger? Is it, you feel, is, is he pulling back? Is it stronger? How do you feel your relationship is with Game now, that, that same, announcement? Same relationship we always had. Cool. That's um, I can ask him anything about advice, you know, what the do's and the don'ts. You know, he made mistakes and he tell me about the mistakes. You mm -hmm. know, so, you know, on the same path. That's what sucks a lot of love right there. Yeah. Growing up in the West Coast, I mean, we have classic legends out there musically. I want to know what albums growing up influenced you to be, you know, who you are. Um, Doggy Style, um, Death Certificate, um, Chronic, Dog Food, um, Dub C and the Mass Circle, <laughs> um, E-40, Element of Surprise, E-40, Charlie Hustle. I go on all day. Um, Corrupt streets is a mother. Yeah. yeah. So we got rich culture out there, man. Yeah, man. I want to talk real quick. The new single, Swimming Pools. Right. First of all, I want to tell you, man, it's a dope single. Thank you. I like it a lot. I'm spending it late night here on my on my mix show. Thank you. Uh, looking at the lyrics, man. I mean, you really went deep in there with the subject of alcohol. Yeah. I want to know, was there a defining moment that gave you inspiration for this track? Um, I think just, you know, life experiences of growing up in a household, you know, where there's a lot of parties, a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking. I just really want to touch on that, you know, you know, put the vices out there where you can be a, um, a drunk or you can be uh, a casual drinker, you know, in mm -hmm. the fun matter, you know, the choice is yours. And it's really just a fun record, you know, but when you listen inside of it, you know, it actually got a message to it. Yeah, I want to say that the part where your conscience or your body was talking to you, that, that threw me through a loop the first time I heard it. Right. And I was like, yo, you know, this cat's really, really saying something. And uh, lastly, man, you worked with everybody from J. Cole, Jeezy, Dre, mm -hmm. spoke about the Lady Gaga thing here. Mm -hmm. Who haven't you worked with that you've been wanting to work with? Um, there's a lot of people. Um, I like Andre. I like Erica. Badu. Um, I like Shade. I like D'Angelo. Mm-hmm. Need some cat I, I, I wouldn't want to work with for sure. Nice, nice. Kendrick, man, thank you very much. Any last shout outs that you want to give to anybody or let October, us know about the album? October 22nd, Good Kid, Mad City, y'all stay tuned. That's right, go out, cop it, buy it, or get on iTunes. Listen up, y'all. Listen up, y'all. Follow now on Twitter at DJB Street. Hashtag listen loud.